This video shows the use of a free app called Chess OCR Pick that recognizes chess figures from an image obtained by a camera or by a screen capture. This app is a free version of the Chess OCR app which uses the video camera on an Android device to directly recognize a chess figure. Here we see the app being installed from the APK file. It's important to remember that this app cannot be invoked directly. To use it, one must open a picture containing a chess figure and select the Chess OCR app to process this figure out of the possible processing apps. The picture of the chess figure should be scaled to take up most of the screen. Here we see the app being invoked on some captured images stored in the Android image gallery. The first time the app is invoked, it will install the support package OpenCV, but this only needs to be done once. Since this installation of OpenCV is done from Google Play, it can take a few minutes. Using the OpenCV support app in this fashion makes it easier to efficiently handle a wide variety of Android hardware. Once Chess OCR Pick starts, it displays the image, and then if you touch the screen anywhere, it will attempt to recognize the chess figure that is contained in that image. If recognition is successful, the position is drawn on the screen, and if not successful, the app immediately exits. If we then touch the recognized position anywhere that is not one of the options shown and the recognition is cancelled and we go back to the main screen. Here we show a chess figure in a PDF file. To do a screen capture of this figure we must press both the shutdown and volume down buttons on the device at the same time. This will capture the screen. We can directly access the image from the main Android screen to start Chess OCR Picked. The app displays the image. Then if you touch the screen, it attempts to recognize the figure. If successful, the position is displayed. And if you wish to cancel the recognition, you touch the screen outside of the area of the three buttons. Then you are back to the original image and you can restart the recognition by touching the screen again. The top option, Switch Colors, is only used if the original figure had black at the bottom. You must always select which color is to move and this appends the recognized figure under PGN file and returns to the main screen where you can open this file from the PGN menu. This gives us the option of starting any chess app that can process a PGN file. Here I start the Droidfish app to display the recognized position which is the last one in the PGN file containing all the recognized positions. Here we can see that I'm scrolling through the PGN file to the last recognized position in that PGN file. Next, I go back to the main screen, and then I select a different app, the SCID in the Go Chess app, to open the same PGN file and display the last recognized position in the set of all recognized positions that are saved in the PGN file. Here again, I'm scrolling through all the PGN positions to show the last recognized position. Now I return to the main Android screen If we wish to process only the last recognized figure, there is a simpler way because certain Android chess apps, in particular Droidfish, SCID in the Go, and Chess, can accept fence strings directly on startup. In this example, we perform the usual screen capture, start Chess OCR Pick to recognize the figure, and then choose the color to move. After that, we select the Analyze menu item, which lists all the apps that can accept fence strings directly, and we can then select which one to use. First we choose the free Android Chess app to process the figure and we see the recognized figure is correctly transferred. Then we repeat the process with Roidfish and again the recognized figure is correctly transferred. This mode of operation is ideal if we want to process only the last recognized figure. A long press is when we touch the screen and continue to hold the finger down, while a short press is simply when we touch the screen and remove it quickly. In this example, we repeat the same recognition process but do a long press on the color selection. To choose the color, we normally do a short press, but if we do a long press, this not only selects the color, it also directly starts the Analyze menu item with that fence string. So a long press on the selected color is nothing more than a handy shortcut to a short press followed by choosing the Analyze button. Here we show this in operation to start Droidfish or SCID in the Go on the last recognized figure. In all cases, we see that the last recognized figure is correctly transferred to the Chess Analysis app.
In the next set of examples, we perform recognition from a number of images that were captured by the camera on the Android device, or by another digital camera and transferred to the Android device. These types of images are more difficult to process than images acquired from a screen capture because the chest figure is not necessarily flat and square. However, since we do some compensation for page warp in books, the recognition process usually works. The first two examples we perform the recognition on stored images, but simply cancel the results by touching the screen on the recognized image that is displayed. Figure recognition in the first two examples works, but in the third example, the page warp is too large and the recognition fails. In such cases, the Chess OCR picked app immediately returns. While recognition from images captured by a camera works, doing the recognition from a screen capture is the most reliable and quickest method and is the one that should normally be used for our app. For my second last example, I start the Chess app SCID in the Go, which can be used to search a database for all the games that contain a given chess position. This shows how easy it is to use the Chess OCR Picked app to find the associated PGN for the games in most common books and magazines. I first load a database of 2.4 million games that is freely available on the KGR Auth app's website, which will be updated periodically. I will now recognize a game in the first volume of Subtle's Best Games, in particular the games in vs. Subtle's. First I go to the website for the book and then display the page which contains an excerpt showing that particular game. I then perform a screen capture from that web page and then I open the captured image. Finally, I select the Chess OCR Picked app to perform the recognition on that figure. Then I use the SCID and the Go app to retrieve all the games that contain that given position in this game's database. Here I am starting the Chess OCR Picked app. Now I'm in SCID and soon I'll be in SCID in the Go after I've selected the color black to move. Doing a long press on SCID in the Go. And then I recognize search for all the games containing that exact position in the Open Games database. It takes about six seconds to search this database on an older tablet and about two or three seconds on a faster device. As we can see, the PGN for the correct game, Zen vs. Subtles, has been retrieved. I demonstrate this by showing that the game position from the PGN file is the same as the position recognized by Chess OCR Pick. My last example, I repeat this exact same process, but now I use my phone, which is, Google, which is a Google Nexus form. Again, I go to the same book website, but this time I open a PDF file, which has an excerpt from that book. I do the screen capture and select Chess OCR Picked, but this is done in a slightly different manner on my phone than on the tablet. I then invoke the SCID and the Go app to search for all the games that contain that position we see that the correct PGN file is again retrieved from the games database. Here, I select Chess OCR Picked. Then I perform the recognition. Then I choose Black to Move. I invoke SCID in the Go. And finally, I do the search to find all the games that contain that particular positions and we see that the correct game has indeed been retrieved.